Hello, I'm Necropolo. From time to time I come up with uh, this sort of uh, why the hell are you doing this sort of video sort of videos. You know, channel updates, project updates and the like. So this one will be that one called what in the hell. So this time maybe it's useful to divide this video into two parts. The things that actually happen or happened and plans. These are not solid facts, but probably will happen in the near future. So, fact one. Around the beginning of 2024, I was in a studio quite a lot. But as a matter of fact, I didn't work on my own material, but some other band's stuff. On the workbench there was one EP, one full album and a lot of podcasts. Nowadays, you know, at least 60% of my activities in the studios consist of podcast production. So in a nutshell, that's all about Q1 of 2024. Considering Diabolus in Musica, we just finished our album support tour. We have quite nice memories about it. The other band related to this project called Ordog also performed a couple of live shows lately. At the moment I'm on some sort of holiday considering live shows, but it won't be long because the first Vatscore album was released around 2004, so there will be some anniversary shows in April and May, and then I will have a short break, one week, before the summer season starts with Diabolus in Musica and Ördög again. It will finish somewhere around September. Most of these shows happen around the second part of the week. So from Monday to Wednesday I will be in the studio and the rest of the week I'll be traveling around. By Sunday I will be completely wasted. Not because of using alcohol or drugs, I've never used that shit. My batteries just need some recharging after running around. You know, I'm near 50, so <laughs> I just need some rest. So that's all about things that happened or will happen. Things in the calendar. The rest are plans. During the preparation of uh, live shows I recorded a couple of videos. Think of very very simple stuff, two camera angles of me playing the guitar, you know, just for memorizing these older riffs. If time allows, most probably I will edit a couple of videos using these shots. Maybe they will be single tracks or maybe a full album playthrough, I just don't know yet. Considering these longer sort of playthroughs, the live version of Necropolo project called Dead Act version 1 point something must probably will come to an end this year. Besides the very first one that happened in 2020 during the pandemic lockdown, this cinematic kind of live show was performed a couple of times during the following years. It kept on developing from show to show and it has now, I guess, version 1.6. It's quite different from the very first one. It wasn't overplayed to the point of being uh, boring to me, but in the practice it stole an ample of time from the coming Necropolo album, Necrolepsy. So I think Dead Act version 1.7 will be the last one of its kind. It will be an online show just like the very first one and I have no idea about the actual date of the release. The only thing at the moment that I'm sure about is that it will happen sometime in 2024 and after that I will focus on necrolepsy only. It doesn't mean that it will be the last live show I do with Necropolo, no. The next one will be just something different, somehow different. I don't know yet, but time will tell. It will be based on the new material, that's for sure. As for the new album Necrolepsy, I think it's realistic to say that it can be finished around the late of this year, 2024. I have no proper date in mind, all I know that it is possible to finish it in six months. But it's a plan, not a promise again. Available time will tell. On the other hand, I'm almost entirely sure that I won't be able to focus on two separate things this year that are both involved in Necropolo project. 
So if I work on a recording, then most probably I will have zero time for creating Commodore 64 chip tunes. As of Commodore 64, I will run out of chip tunes somewhere around the end of June. Regardless, some sort of Commodore 64 content is on the workbench. I've been planning a tutorial of creating chip tunes for quite a while, and I have already recorded some material for that. Back to Commodore 64 tunes, maybe there will be some exception. My friend Martin Piper has started a quite interesting project. I've created some stuff for that, but I never had the chance to finish it. So maybe it uh, can happen in the near future. Okay, when it comes to friends living on the complete opposite side of the globe, Carl Burnett, a friend from New Zealand, is about to create a new game. Around a decade ago, I provided music for a couple of his games, and these projects were absolutely fun. So if everything goes to the plans, then most probably around late summer, I will be working on his game. Okay, considering this channel, this YouTube channel, what can you suspect in the following months? A couple of gear and tech videos have been recorded recently. I have no idea when they will be assembled, but uh, I guess I will be able to finish them somewhere before the next What in the Hell channel update video. So, I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you somewhere in time.